Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on Grizz TV, brought to you by the Evans Law Group. We're here with Coach Campy. My name is Neil Rule. A very happy Coach Campy after a 75-62 win over Texas San Antonio. Coach, that team tied for second Conference USA. They're a very good basketball team. They're pro scouts here to see some of their guards, and you guys took them to the mat and choked them out defensively in the second half. Yeah, I don't, I don't think people, I know our fans have no idea, but what, how good of a win this is, and at the end of the year, what an RPI boost this win's going to be because that, that team's going to finish in the top two or three in Conference USA if they st stay healthy. Um, yeah, that, that's an unbelievable win for us, and especially coming off yesterday. I got a lot of new guys in today, so we got the whole roster in in the two games. All those new players got to play their first Division One basketball, and they got to do it against good teams. You know, people yesterday were disappointed that Delaware beat us, and I tried to tell everybody how good Delaware was, and they beat Southern Illinois today, you know. Uh, that's a great win for Delaware today. And now we've got a tough one tomorrow against Southern Illinois. This was a really good tournament. We came to play with three really, really good mid-major teams. And every game has been a war. And, and man, were we good on defense. And how about Trey uh, Maddox's defense on that kid? I mean, that kid's got NBA, NBA scouts here to see him. NBA Jackson. on his chest, man. And uh, he got a couple loose early. Uh, you know, off a couple rebounds and that. And then Trey just said, no more switching, no more anything. I got him. And he just shut him down in the second half. Hey, Coach, you said that yesterday in, in, in the dinner line. You, you were talking to him about it and the challenge that it was going to be faced with, he was going to be faced with today. And he said, Coach, I got him. And he did. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you what, he's really been struggling offensively this year. And today he started to get it offensively. He played a really good game. Uh, another thing that was really huge for us today is that we're getting more comfortable. We're starting to make some free throws. We're never going to be a great free throw shooting team. This isn't a vintage Oakland free throw shooting team, but we can make free throws now. Brad next, and Old Apple's going to get better at it, and our guards should make them. Kangu should make 85, and Trey's should be 85%. So we started to make some free throws. We, st we stopped turning the ball over. But Lampman making threes spaced the floor for us today, and it got X by himself a little bit. And then when we opened up the game in the second half, it was all X going to work down in the post. And uh, Lampman had a lot to do with that. And the threes Lampman made, the time he made it, the, the, a couple of those threes came when Texas San Antonio was looking to make a run in the game. Right. Huge threes. He's, he's on the year now, he's six for seven, and his only miss was I, I made him take one at the end of the half, falling down, going away. That's his only miss. So um, he, he's – that kid stepped up, and uh, wow, he's been – Y'all can thank Travis Bader for him because I had no idea who he was. <laughs> Speaking of guards, though, so real quickly, Coach, before we let you go, Kevin Kangu, uh, you came in the radio post game and told me, you know, we might we might have found our point guard here. He continues to just stuff the statue. I might be smarter than anybody that's ever coached him because I moved him to the point. <laughs> Maybe that's what he should be. I mean, yeah. you think about where he was the first day we moved him to the point in practice, and how we were going up in the office afterwards, going, "Oh my God, are we in trouble?" Oh, he, I don't think he's ever going to be able to get this. And day after day, he's worked and worked and worked. And before this is over, he may be on his way to being really special. I mean, he's made free throws today, nine for 10 from the line. So he's starting to get comfortable. He got to the line 10 times. He got nine rebounds yesterday. Um, he can really guard. I mean, and he's playing, he played another close to 40 minutes again today and never got tight. You know, I kept asking, you want out? You want out? We got another game tomorrow. You want out? Nope. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. All right, Coach. We certainly do appreciate the time. 1 o'clock tomorrow, Flow Sports TV and WDFN on the Real Team Real Estate Radio Network. Coming up quick, Coach. Well, it's going to be interesting. You know, every game brings a challenge. And how are we going to come back now? We came back from a, a disastrous half, fought back and almost got it tied, came back 24 hours later and played an outstanding basketball game. Now we're all happy. How is this young team going to come out tomorrow against a really good Southern uh, Illinois team? Life comes at you fast, Coach. Appreciate the time. All right.